Before we get into the video, we're here to invite you to the Roleplay Relay 2. You started so fast. Uh, Roleplay Relay 2 is coming November 25th from noon to 9 Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube.com slash Nerdy Nightly or over at Twitch.tv slash Nerdy Nightly. Gonna be on both places. Yeah. You can watch where you prefer your ads to, to, <laughs> to hit you. <laughs> we're gonna be raising money for an incredible charity, Cat for Kids, that helps the families of children with cancer. And so come on by. We're gonna be fighting Santa Claus after the Stacy's Thanksgiving Day March. Yes, the legally distinct Thanksgiving Day event that happens on the streets of U Nork, a uh, elf city in Felrosia, our world that I built for Relay 1 that mm -hmm. is uh, a giant yew tree uh, that was found by an elf named Nork. So uh, yeah, don't miss it. We're, we're here for a good cause. We got a lot of incredible people involved and it's going to be a really fun time. That's right. There's 16. 16 players in this game. Wow. You're probably wondering how. Uh, Santa Claus is going to kill a lot of people. It's going to be a carnage. It's going to be bloodbath. Mm -hmm. And we're doing it for the kids. So that it's okay? Yeah. Question mark? <laughs> Come, it's all for the kids. Come November 25th. Uh, and now enjoy this video slash reaction slash whatever we put this in front of. It's Star Wars time. New Star Wars show. Hell yeah. But there's a strike. So no one's going to see this for forever. But we're recording it because I don't want to get spoiled because I I will I will cry. Yeah. Ahsoka's yeah. my girl. Okay. This is yeah. tied there's... for number one favorite Star Wars character. Tied? Yeah, her and Obi-Wan. An Obi-Wan. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Ahsoka, I, was like, it's I always... it was Ahsoka. Well, yeah, but Obi-Wan and I go back further. You know what I mean? Obi-Wan right. and I go back to 1999 when I was seven years old and he was my guy. Sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Anakin was never my guy. Obi-Wan was mm. in, in Phantom Menace. Like, Obi-Wan was always my guy. That's fair, and, that's fair. And um, I used to, like, get down on my knees and do the, like, prayer before the red door in important moments in my life. You know what I mean? I would be like, I got to center myself. I'm going to do the Obi-Wan. No joke. Used to do it before concerts I would perform in. Uh, I would. I like was like, I meditated because Obi-Wan meditated. And that wow. was like a thing in my life. Wow. I was seven. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah, I was coming fine. up with ways to interact with the world. I was a child with some narrow spiciness. I think it's cute. Uh, whatever. Uh, Ahsoka, Ahsoka, after like middle of season two of Clone Wars, though, kind of joined Obi-Wan as like my fave. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Uh, I've loved her ever since. We have a lot of Ahsoka merch. Obviously, I have almost all of her lightsabers. I have four Ahsoka lightsabers. Mm -hmm. I have a problem. I love this character a lot. Um, I love Rosario a lot. Uh, I uh, I got to work with her on an episode of Iron Fist back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was a delightful human being uh, who was a pleasure to be around. Mm -hmm. So I was very excited when she got this part. And everything about this show since then has been very exciting to me. I've talked a lot. Clarus, how are you feeling going into episode one of Ahsoka? I'm good. Let's do it. Uh, I will, uh, b before we start, we should say I've seen everything. Uh, I have read the Ahsoka book. There is nothing Ahsoka related that I've missed. Clarus, on the other hand, has not seen Rebels all the way through. Nope. You're I... at the final episode of season two. It's not even the final episode. You have like two, four, three episodes, two or three episodes left? I don't even know. Episode like 21? Yeah, I think it's episode? 24. So I think you have three episodes or four episodes left. So Somewhere in there, yeah. So, uh, so we'll see. This might spoil the end of Rebels for you. In fact, I'm willing to bet that it will. Oopsie. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a, like, previously on Star Wars, the end of Rebels. Uh, but um, I still think that that journey's worth going on. I'm excited for you to go on it, because you've been having fun with it so far. Yeah, yeah. You haven't read the book. No. There's some Ahsoka stuff you've missed. Yeah, I have mostly know her from Clone Wars, specifically. And uh, Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. Yes, but she was hardly in those. Yeah, but that I those are closer to this date than Clone yes, Wars. Yes, yes, for sure. That that is like a year ago for her at this point. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough preamble. If you want the full length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. It's been there for a while. Uh if you don't stay here because you're already here, and da 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 we're watching Star Wars. I'm so excited. Here we go! Evil oh my god, there's a scroll. Fallen. Wow, a New Republic. We love a, we love a there's scroll. There's the. Oh, I got goosebumps. That New Republic logo is sick. I do love it. Mm -hmm. Security alert. Comms. Ask them to identify themselves and transmit their clearance code. This feels very Star Trek to me. Star Trek? That, that bridge sequence, the way it was shot. Oh. What's the word, Calm? 
I'm receiving their signal now, sir. I get that bridges have a shape. It's just funny to me. You've got the bridge. Yes, sir. Yeah, that just felt very Star Trek-y to me. Mm -hmm. We don't see a lot of like passing off the bridge and stuff in Star Wars. We also don't see a lot of like the good guys with the like kind of clean, polished aesthetic. Look at his little helmet. Love it. I love like, him on Cal so much. Like <laughs> normally it's the Empire that's like the very like cold, clean, meticulous. And like they're all done up. Everything's looking nice and tidy. Like. Yeah. It's not Ahsoka's, is it? <gasps> oh, fuck! Uh-oh. We know R. from I. the P. trailers. This is not gonna go well. You're no Jedi. Just some overconfident Imperial trash who just pushed their luck too far. Allow me to show you our identification. Fuck! Oh my god! But one thing, Captain. We are no Jedi. Oh, hey -o, you were just doing your job. You're maybe a little bit of an ass about it, but like... <laughs> Alright, New Republic, we need to talk about the security of your elevators. You okay? Yeah, I mean, they're sit they didn't stand a fucking chance. This is like Vader on his way to get the plans, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is very Vader inspired. He has the same very like like clean, efficient kind of Yes, yes. The slow, meticulous, and the shoulders. Yeah, he's broad. Balin, you are true to your word. And well paid for it, Lady Morgan. <laughs> Who is this Jedi? Ahsoka Tano. It's like, no response. Damn. All right. You should be scared. We okay? got some Star Wars. Ahsoka's a threat. Yes. She is. So she's on my shirt. It's a good shirt. It is a good shirt. She looks so good. I know. <laughs> Really feels like a Jedi Fallen Order level. Oh my god. Cal has to get the fucking things in the right order for the temple to open up. BD1 oh, just sent shit. like Eno Cordova like in hologram, like, hello my friend. I came here when I was 17 years old. <laughs> when Grogu sees that ball, he's gonna lose it. <laughs> he's gonna be so excited. Hello. Hi. This is my house. Can I help you? Come no closer. The map. Give it to us. Us. Yeah, you really fucked up with that one. Could have got a sneak attack round in. On a Jedi? Yeah, fucking right. I mean. What are these droids? <laughs> That's my girl. Self destruct protocol. Oh wow, all droids in after the Empire blow up. I guess so. That was sick. Yeah, that was great. No. I love that the Montrals move more now. 
mm-hmm. in Mandalorian, they were a little stiff. Yeah. But they're flopping around like they're real, which is really nice. Yeah. Cool. Damn. Whoa. Those bombs were no joke. What the fuck? Might have been a bit overkill on the droid's part. Next time, stay close. Watch my back. That is the job of a Jedi Padawan learner, which I am not. <laughs> He's been around for like thousands of years, right? Yeah. Helping Jedi on their trips to Ilum to get their first Kyber crystal. swings i know <laughs> just does something i just i feel like a child watching this and like i get it i'm overly excited no this feels but i feel i just star wars makes me happy and i'm not gonna like apologize for the things that bring me joy no but like this is also feeling like og star like this wars. shot like yeah it just there's like, something about it yeah even the way that they handle their lightsabers, they have more weight to them. Like, you yeah. know, like there's, you know, in the prequels and the sequels, there's a lot of flourishy light hitting Sequels movement. less so. Uh, yeah, yeah. The sequels yeah. got a little bit, like, broad sorty with it well, at times. Well, because, you know, he had a fucking cross guard. But I, I just mean, like, um, it's less spinny and more deliberate, and that feels very OG trilogy to me. Yeah. Perhaps one of them was once a Jedi. Possibly. You would know. <laughs> his death was never confirmed. I started hearing whispers of his return, which led me to Morgan. You need to finish Rebels. And the key to activating it has eluded me. It's never a straight line with you, Jedi, is it? <laughs> no. For Ezra. Huh. How you feeling about the hair and makeup? The hair and makeup? Yeah, now that we're seeing it in motion. It looks good. Yeah. I I never had a problem with Commander that. Commander Ezra Bridger, who sacrificed himself to liberate our world. Cool. Sabine Wren. Find her now. <laughs> Zeb looks so dopey. I love it. So tall. This is that Mandalorian rock that they listen to while they look at Mandalorian cubism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a joke for like eight people who were in a room at Dragon Con last year. Yo, this speeder though. I love that there's nobody else on the road except for her. They're all at the event. It's a big day. There was like 20 people at the event. Well, here's a new order. Get lost. You can't do that. You're not gonna win this one, dude. The beam, stand down. He's not stopping. Whoa! That looked pretty good. That, that looked great. Yeah. Well, I guess now he can say he tried, I, I guess. I mean, what are they going to do? Shoot her down? Like. I love that there's literally not one single other person on the highway. It's a big day. Everyone's in town. <gasps> Maybe I'm not allergic to loft cats. Oh, well, we can find one of them. Hi. <laughs> oh my god, it's face. He's so cute. His mouth looks like Grease. <laughs> they are the like pet version of Grease. Yeah. Yeah. What if we got a robotic cat? You wouldn't be allergic to that. That'd be dope if we could have a robot kitty. But it has to like be a like AI kitty. AI kitty. <laughs> You okay, girl? You moved into Ezra's house. You, you don't talk to your friends. You leave ceremonies like you're a 14-year-old who's mad at her dad. 
You think she turned to the dark side after her barber did that to her bangs? Some people like those bangs. What? You like Shadowheart, don't you? Yeah. I just don't like bangs, I think, is the thing. The Night Sisters of Dapomir. I do like that she has the traditional Padawan braid, though. It's really interesting. Yeah. Ahsoka Tano's former apprentice is on the Thal. You're looking for Sabine Wren. He has the perfect gravitas for this. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like Dooku level. Younger Dooku, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> A spry 50s Dooku instead of... No, just casually falling asleep with a full belt on. Like you do. Couldn't be me. Oh, and full boots in bed. Disgusting. How Take yeah, your shoes off before you go to bed. What's wrong with these people? Guess it's like a Mandalorian thing, maybe. They never take off their helmet or their boots. Shot. Let's go. I like that it feels like the people who made this, and I know that Dave Floney loves Rebels, but it feels like the, all the people who came together for this love Rebels. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? There's a lot of visual nods that are really working for me. Still in one piece? Oh, yes. And still 75% original parts. Wow. That's better than a lot of droids and stars. Well, then. <laughs> That's why he's bragging. I'll be on the ship. <laughs> he sounds even more David tennant in this than he does in Clone Wars. I take it these patterns have meanings. I want that table. That was pretty sick. Tired of moving from one place to another? I go where I'm needed. Not always. <laughs> okay? <laughs> there is nothing easy about being a Jedi. Well, then I should have made a good one. Yes. You should have. It's like a conversation we're not supposed to watch. Yeah. I love that she's giving Ahsoka the same energy that Ahsoka gave Anakin. <laughs> Ahsoka's full on getting a taste of her own medicine. Wait. Oh. Oh. Sab oh, I, I. Sabine is giving Ahsoka a similar, like. Yeah. Sabine, you're going to want to hear. The least surprising turn of events. The most Ahsoka turn of events. I just want one moment in the show where Ahsoka goes, God, was I, was I this? Yes, I was. This was, this was me. It's always probe droids on this fucking road. And the roads are always empty. It's not a very maintained highway because it never gets any use. Nobody lives here, yeah. To be fair, it's a road to uh, Ezra's house. Oh, it's her personal road. No, but <laughs> it's just the only thing in that direction unless you're going to like one of the farms. <laughs> Let me just steal this very important artifact without all the information. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, that's really stupid. <laughs> Mentoring someone is a challenge. I bet your master found you difficult at times. <laughs> there it is! Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him. And the Jedi. I'm sure you had your reasons. Sometimes even the right reasons have the wrong consequences. Ooh. There was a lot of weight of... I walked away from Anakin and he became Vader in that sentence. Yeah. Or, you know, I was wrongfully accused and almost uh, fucked over by uh, the order that I devoted my life to. And Spoilers for past Star Wars shows? Sorry? So, yeah. I don't really know how to protect people from that in this. Well, I think that's going to, 
like you know, like Rebels is being spoiled. Clone Wars stuff will be spoiled. I, I don't think you can. Nothing in Rebels has really been spoiled yet. Well, except that Ezra's dead. Yeah. Why is it always some weird Rubik's Cube shit? Space is just obsessed with Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> oh, that is cool. That looks sick. I think I'm going on a trip. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Sabine, use the force. That was how Sabine broke her hand. Yeah, it's like fighting a metal droid would be. Oh no, you left it on? We've been looking for this. Mm hmm. That's too bad. <laughs> oh, Ahsoka, you her Sabine has not been training. She's not ready for this moment. So they sound like the original lightsabers. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think it looks really good. I do too. Okay, she dabbed at the end of that. That's cool. It's very 2020, you know, flat. Just 2020. But... So if she's not force sensitive, how can she use a lightsaber? I think she is. She's just never explicitly force sensitive until now. And you don't have to be force sensitive to use a lightsaber. You just need to be force sensitive to use it well, right? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't trust myself with a <laughs> Especially being thrown like that. There's no rush hour. I mean, it's the middle of the night. I love the way uh, Sith Lady's using her cape in the combat. Oh. There is so much cape in this combat, I kind of love it. Well, you know the Sith, they're very dramatic. What? It's fine, it's cauterized. <sighs> oh, God! <laughs> How many people have survived lightsaber wounds? All of them. That's true. We got Anakin, we got Dooku, we got Luke. She's fine, she's the main character. Wow! Yeah. Yeah, right, Are there, like, right, post right through the gut though. The if, she, if, if she fried an organ, I don't know, she might be fucked. Um, I gotta say, way to go. Because that was the first time in Star Wars television that I think I've been legitimately shocked by something. Mm. That wasn't like a weird random cameo or something, you know? But none of those have been like that shocking. That, yeah, like, that oh. I felt in every cell of my body. Yeah. Yeah, I was not, I was not expecting that. It, it always feels like they played a little bit safe. Oh yeah. I'm like, you know, like Quill dying in Mandalorian I, I, I'm assuming people have seen all the Star Wars shows coming into this, right? Um, yes. We can't really talk about this stuff without being able to talk about it. Yeah. The Quill dying in The Mandalorian wasn't a very surprising moment because of, like, the nature of what he meant to that show, yeah. right? Like, they've always played it a little bit safe with the non... With, with, with this movie and, like, previously on characters. Yeah, yeah, with our main characters. And that was fucking shocking as hell. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Yeah, I definitely did. I I figured Sabine wouldn't stand up, right, like, uh, against this person because she is kind of partially half-trained, maybe, with, and maybe he's, you know what I mean? Like, I, I definitely wasn't expecting her to win. I was not expecting her to get run through the torso with a lightsaber. You know, maybe lose a hand in the traditional uh, sense, you know. I mean, where she was she for the sequel trilogy? <laughs> Dead. I don't know if it's the most narratively satisfying thing, but I think in terms of setting up the show, although I will say, 
I don't, that is not Star Wars, so I don't want to talk about it. Another Disney Plus show killed off a character in its first episode recently, too. And I was like, oh, I guess we just, they're like, you got to kill someone in episode one to be interesting. Well, episode two has dropped, so we'll we'll find out shortly if she is dead or I not. I mean, Kylo Ren survived almost that exact same wound. Granted, Rey used force healing on him. Maybe Ahsoka Maybe knows Ahsoka, force healing. Ahsoka, yeah. yeah. Rey knows it. Grogu knows it. Yeah. Maybe Grogu Ahsoka, taught Ahsoka force healing. Ahsoka doesn't really seem like a healer to me. No. No. No, she doesn't. It was on the left side, so they didn't get the heart. Yeah, but you know, there's kidneys, there's livers, there's stomachs, there's Your liver grows back. And... Wait, really? Yeah. You can donate half your liver. Yeah, but I didn't and think the other it half grew grows back. back. I just thought you were it's like... the one organ that it. will like grow back. Wait, no, because if you donate your liver, it you will can't grow back drink alcohol anymore. For like six months. No! Yeah. Your liver is the one organ in your body that will grow back. it fully grows back. That can't be real. Like, partially, I know it, like, heals, but... No. A liver can regrow to its normal size, even after up to 90% of it has been removed. This is Boom. Oh, she's fine. Must have been her liver. That's a med droid. Let's go. You need my help. No. You've done enough. And mm, yeah, you can This is like the one up. time where it's like actually 100% your fault. Yeah, yeah. That was all you. Is this the force from the beginning of Rise of Skywalker? Where Kylo Ren fights no, it's and gets the uh... No, but he fights in that red forest at the beginning yeah. to get the um key Dexigal, right? Damn, everyone's just building fucking circles all over the galaxy. Seriously. Okay, so the, the beam light's gonna shoot through the thing. Mm -hmm. There's so many of them. They're Loth cats. It's Loth Fowl. That's where they're from. That makes sense. That is home. Oh, she wears those toe shoes. Feet for free, Dave Filoni? Really? I got that saber. I know you got that saber. You this is make me really want to do a, like, male version of Ahsoka cosplay. Can she force echo, like, calc? No, she doesn't have psychometry. Oh, she's just, like, listening to... Oh, I think that's for our benefit. No, it's... She, she, she can, like, feel echoes in the force, but she can't, like, get specific things from an item the way Cal can. Well, I did gender bent Cal, you could do gender bent Ahsoka, no problem. We could do those together. That'd be fun. If this loft cat is the key to the the whole thing, I'm gonna fucking love this. Oh shit! Nice try. This poor loft cat's had a weird 24 hours. I know. Perhaps we should perform this operation somewhere else. I say go for it. Because you're a hologram. <laughs> the circuit temperature is rising. Anything? It's a video game level. It is a video game level. Let's get going. No, you need to recover. I'm fine. Yeah, I just got stabbed. You have a hole in you. We need to help each other. You heard her. She doesn't want my help. Yes, she does. Hmm. There's so much of Leia's theme in this song. Yeah. It's a nice touch. That looked pretty cool. Mm hmm. The visuals around this thing have all been pretty exemplary. They're really cool. Wow. Oh, shit. Thrawn calls to me. Across time and space. 
All right, seconds are on the right and straight on till morning. Go to Corellia. Assist Maroc with the final transport. Yes, Master. Well, cool. they, they don't seem to have that classic hateful Sith apprentice mentor relationship. No, I think she's too early on in it, but I also don't think he's a Sith. They don't have the fully red blade. She has the Padawan. I think that he's a There's mercenary like something Jedi. Something else yeah. going on there. He's taking the Jedi training and teaching. Like I don't think he has force lightning. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. I thought we were gonna see the ghost, not the little uh, escape vessel on it. The Phantom. Phantom? You know things. I know things. Proud of you. Fever, regional supervisor. What's up, dude? All Imperial assets were dissolved and redistributed, including those held by Morgan Elsbeth. That's hilarious. I guess this is where he came after House fired him. <sighs> there is our little war criminal. The best part of Rebels. Yeah. My loyalty is to my investors. I'll leave the politics up to you. I think he's being honest. Oh, I absolutely do. And he's not wrong, you know what I mean? Like, at, at a certain level, people are like, I, dude, I don't care who's in charge. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They care for the election year, and then they forget until the next one. I'm curious. What makes someone ready? You just know. Or you're a child, and we take you from your house. Yeah, and you don't have a choice. They force you to be ready. I can't train if Ahsoka doesn't want to teach me. That is an excuse. <laughs> you have never indicated that you want to come back. Forgot how annoying you are. Logical. <laughs> Not like Ezra. That much is true. known many Padawans over the centuries, and I can safely say your aptitude for the Force would fall short of them all. I won't waste any more of her time. The only time you are wasting is your own. Wow. Brutal honesty. Why we keep the droids around? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I cannot unseal the document without authorization. Well, then I'm authorizing it. Well, I'm not sure you can. Wanna bet? <laughs> I can't do that, General. They've been cleared for departure. I said stop that ship. That's an order. For the Empire! Whoa, shit! Oh, fuck. Right. <laughs> that was some Jedi shit. You know oh, what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. They fucking jumped out of, like ships onto planets. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Spicy. I love his helmet design, though. It's very like. I think English it's knight. I'm like really worried. It's Ezra. Mm -hmm. Oh God. You're right. The fact that he's the only one with his face fully covered. I know. I know. Repeat. CT-05 return to port. <laughs> There's some corruption in this new republic. Who would have thought? Everyone who's seen the sequel trilogy. Oh, oh, oh. Keep your lid on, chop. Okay, she's Hera. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I wasn't really <laughs> feeling that she was, like, Hera from Rebels, but, uh, yeah. She feels older. They both feel, like, older, and, like, they're, like, they don't want to be doing this anymore. <laughs> Ooh. Fun. Very cool. You're going up against the best ga pilot in the galaxy. You're going to have to do better than that. Just ready a tracking device. And don't miss this time. <laughs> Chopper, what are you doing? You look under the backup battery. 
Great. Now hurry up. They're gonna make the jump into hyperspace as soon as they clear the atmosphere. You know what? I haven't seen Rebels in a while, but I just saw Rebels again. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. I can confirm Ooh. that was very... Oh. That was fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah, have your lightsaber back. I'll deal with you later. I thought we might get that reveal at the end of this episode. Maybe we will actually. There might. There's still 15 minutes. 17 minutes. Now, job. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I love it. You got him. <laughs> Flexing on him. Okay, Chopper. We got a tracking device on that transport. All right, then. Yeah, all right, then. soka has been watching New Heights with the Kelsey brothers. Yeah, all right, then. So we need to get you some more clothes, girl. Or Sabine. Well, that's... You got stabbed in this. It's, yeah, it's probably got a huge hole. Somewhere. You wore it to bed. Maybe not, actually. Then you got stabbed in it. I don't see a burn mark. They backed the clothing. They just hung it in some back that got healed. They cast mending. <laughs> cool. Also cool. Extra cool. She's like 27 trying to put on her like high school cheerleader uniform. <laughs> are still so fucking funny to me. I know, but they're the helmets, you I know, know what I mean? I know, I know. It's just funny. It is tough, because, like, what practically do they accomplish? Not sure. It's funny, because usually moments like this are about looking back on simpler times. Mm -hmm. But things were definitely much more complicated in their lives when that mirror was painted. Yeah, but they were together. Yeah. Yeah, oof, wow, thanks for that. Ow. That hurts. hurt. <laughs> Calculations are complete. You may proceed. Take us out. Padawan. She should have cut everything but a little strand to, like, just braid, you know? Mm-hmm. Her and Blondie could have had a braid off. Whoa. Cool. Oh, rad. They need a ship strong enough to get to another galaxy. To kill her would be a shame. There are so few Jedi left. Sentimental. Truth. He's he is the best part of the show right now. Absolutely. And yeah, like, there's not... no one that I dislike, but no, like, no, 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 no. But I'm like, what? What are you? You're not a Jedi. You're not a Sith. You're like, you have this like interesting perspective on the world and the events, and I. That's what I want to know more about. Yeah. Um, I thought this episode was supposed to be 47 minutes, and it was like 39, which is interesting. Uh, the thing I saw on Twitter was wrong. Incorrect. Incorrect information. Uh, all right, Clarus, we have watched the first week of Ahsoka, first two episodes. How are you feeling about the show right now? Hmm. I, this episode didn't really give me any strong feelings. I'm really? kind of, I'm, okay. I'm kind of like intrigued. You know, like like the that thread is there, like pulling me in, but I'm not like um, I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. It's more of a like reserved excitement, hmm. like because there there are things 
then I'm like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this, or I don't know if I love this, right? Like, like smaller things that are less important, but also, like, like the storyline in itself. Maybe it's because I don't have a connection for Thrawn and, mm. like, a true understanding of what his return means. I think the show relies a lot mm. on you having known this character, having yeah. seen all of Rebels, being caught up with that. And, you know, to my own detriment, I am not. And yeah. I think that that's why it doesn't have the weight, right? When people talk about Thrawn, his name carries this weight that yeah. I just, like, don't fully understand. Well, yet. and and honestly, like, Rebels isn't responsible for that, right? Thrawn, the weight of Thrawn is because there was a time in the 90s mm -hmm. before Phantom Menace where Star Wars was kind of a dead franchise. And the new Star Wars for a while was the Thrawn trilogy. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of the thing that was universally loved among the fandom. Yeah. Uh, the original Timothy Zahn trilogy. Uh, there's a new Timothy Zahn trilogy. It's very different. Uh, and the, the heir to the Empire... It, it is an incredible storyline, yeah. and it's very good, and it's no longer canon, and, and I'm okay with that personally, because um, the, the canon of the EU is very complicated and, and could never have really worked the way that Disney wanted to make their new world, um, their new version of it. Uh, but Thrawn, Thrawn carries a weight that is outsized to his experience of canon, um, because th there was almost a time where Thrawn was the big bad of Star Wars. Yeah. For anyone who cared about it at a time when it was kind of dead to the rest of the world. Um, not, not, the, not the movies. Like, everyone, everyone still loved them, but it was just there wasn't new Star Wars coming, stuff coming out. The way that, like, really since 1999, I have had a new Star Wars thing every three years minimum. It's so funny that I missed the Thrawn book somehow when I was reading the, like, books about the twins. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, how did I what do you mean? miss out on that one? Well, those are I read those like in kindergarten, right? That was around that. Yeah, same but you age. would have been reading the you would have been reading the like young reader stuff. Yeah, about the, the twins. About Han and Leia's twins. Yes. Yes, the, they're in they're huge parts of that trilogy. Yeah, I just mean like, how did I fucking miss the throne? Because you were trilogy? six. <laughs> I saw the Lord of the Rings. I know. I no no. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just saying that like they 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 weren't exactly like. Th Thrawn is not the most accessible villain for you okay. young audiences. Okay, but uh, my mom, it, it would give me any book that was 10 years above my level. I, like, I I'm not disagreeing with that. It's I'm just, just saying... Things, I'm like, how did I miss this? Yeah, like, that's fair. Yeah. Um, I, I right now feel like Ahsoka more so than most other Disney shows, mm -hmm. Disney Plus shows yep. as a whole, feels like a television show. And I'm really liking that. Oh, yeah, This yeah. feels like an episodic show where the episodes have arcs and, like, um, jumping off points to the next episode that come in, like, it, it is structured for this medium. Mm -hmm. In a way that I sometimes think Obi-Wan wasn't or uh, Boba Fett wasn't. Uh, in a way that I, I think Mandalorian often is, sometimes. but in a way that I, I don't... I. I the, the, the structure of Mandalorian always feels a little shaky to me. It's a little all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Some episodes are, like, really great in contained episodes, and then others are, like, 22-minute sitcoms. And then, like, Mandalorian is so experimental that when I love it, I'm so in. Yeah. And when I don't love it, I, I still like it because it's still Mandalorian, and I think it's still a very good show. Yeah. But it, by being experimental and by trying different things, it feels like it lives in a couple of different worlds sometimes. This feels like they were, like, we're buckling down to what is Ahsoka the TV show. Yeah. And there's things that I think could be stronger. I don't love the fake out with Sabine from last episode to this episode, just because it was so she was back on her feet so fast. Yeah, and it I felt think like that, it had zero consequences. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. other other than Sabine's humility and pride, which I think is important, but I think that you could have given her a injury that was a little less. We just killed Sabine. Um, it was for the shock value of episode one. But then they they put out both episodes on the same day, so yeah. you, it actually doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I, I wish they hadn't done both on the same week so that I could have spent a week texting Alex and Robbie and all my friends being like, hey, do you is think she she's is? alive? It is, yeah, that is a weird choice. I agree yeah. with you. I was wondering if you would consider mm -hmm. bringing her back on as your apprentice. I'm ready. Take us out. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. SpongeBob is truly the Star Wars crossover we need.
I want Ahsoka training Patrick Star in the ways of the Jedi. No. Mm -mm. Uh, I'm okay. Which end of my lightsaber do I use? How does the force work? <laughs> yeah, hey. no, I, I hate that. Hey, Yoda. Why don't you understand how sentences work? I, I think Patrick Star would push even the patience of Yoda. Oh, a thousand percent. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yoda would turn to the dark side. Fun! Alright, General Grievous. <laughs> not bad. But not good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I discovered that according to Hu Yang, I'm the worst candidate to be a Jedi out of every Jedi he's ever known. You told her that? It's true. <laughs> I feel like they designed Ahsoka's tank top to show off just how yoked Rosario's shoulders are. I know. You're joking. Hey, if it's good enough for Luke Skywalker, it's good enough for you, Sabine. <laughs> This gives me anxiety. I feel like this scene is like what all the rest of us would look like if we didn't have the force and tried to train as a Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> you got this, Sabine. Come on. Yeah! If it were me, I would use this as an opportunity to take a cheap shot of Hu Yang. <laughs> right? Ooh. She got some, some hits though. Right? Yeah. yeah. Nothing. She started to figure it out. Maybe in season three, you know, she'll. The Chancellor? She's waiting. There are several senators with her. One of them is Ziono. No way. Wait, Kazuda's dad? Chancellor Mothma. Senators. Yeah. Hera. How's young Jason? Fine, Chancellor. In fact, he's on board. Causing trouble with Chopper, no doubt. Most likely. That's a big spoiler for you. Gotcha. Sorry. No, that's fine. Hera. Kaz's dad, wow. My that's wild. We have former Imperials working throughout every level of the New Republic government. Maybe that's a bad thing. Long live no. the Empire doesn't sound like the kind of loyalty we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> were you ever in the war, Senator? No. <laughs> Just sat back and waited to see who came out on top? Okay, she's Hera. That's fucking Hera to a T. The Imperial fleet is scattered and broken. They have no centralized command. Unless Thrawn returns. Hera was shot at yesterday. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Grand Admiral Thrawn is dead. And I'm sorry to say it is my opinion that your friend Ezra Bridger heroically died with him. You don't know that. General Hera, allow me a moment to speak with my colleagues. <gasps> is it true Aunt Sabine is going to be a Jedi? Oh, shit. I want to be a Jedi. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was hoping that the urgency of our situation could expedite my training a bit. I was hoping that more stress would make me more patient. <laughs> hmm. I don't think that's how it works. Not everyone can handle the type of discipline it takes to master the ways of the Force. <laughs> Come on, Sabine, you got this. The Force is in all of us. I am one with the Force, and the Force is with me. Mm -hmm. I am one with the force and the forces with me. I am one with the force and the forces with me. Yeah, if you make a cooler face, you can use the force better. <laughs> that is how it works. Yeah. 
Anakin Skywalker taught me that. That's why the dark side's better. They make cooler faces. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah. You win this round. <laughs> I hope we get a lot more Sabine talking to inanimate objects. That feels very Sabine to me. Yeah, it's great. You know she talked to her bombs when she was making them. A Star Destroyer? Negative. Whatever it is has a signature which is unknown to me. That's no moon. That's a space station. <laughs> well. Ooh, what are those? That looks new. Or old. Mm. Tell them, please. On it. Sabine's like, finally something I'm good at. I like shooting things in space. I like that Ahsoka says please. Very polite. <laughs> yeah. She passed all of her etiquette classes at the temple. <sighs> the amount I want to shoot one of these scenes where I get to fucking have the gun. Right? I know that she's just staring at a blue screen, but... <laughs> Now's not the time for a lesson! You're just a little rusty. Now is absolutely the time for a lesson. This is Star Wars. <laughs> and Sabine. You gang anything yet? On the object? No. However, I have several thoughts on everything else, gang. gang. <laughs> Do you think they gave David Tennant a script or did they just <laughs> they say be sassy? Off. Yeah, yeah. Sabine, tell me what you need. Move on my signal? Copy. Okay. Now we're working together. Let's go, ladies. Now. Let's go. Okay, one down, five nice. to go. Yeah. Two six with me. Uta. Uta. These this cockpit is being shot very cinematically. Mm-hmm. Like it's a little bit darker than a lot of the sort of cockpits are. Nice. My wing and wait for my signal. They're really hiding that voice. There's something under that mask. I know. But apparently Sam Witwer is the voice of the um of Merrick. Hmm. Which is interesting. Because I don't think he's gonna be The face. Yeah. Cause I don't think he's gonna be Starkiller. See if you can get a little closer. Are you crosswire? <laughs> Thing's got some cannons on it, goddamn. Ooh, the way that thing is flying, it's so cool. It is really well done. I love how it moves. Yeah. It gives the space flight a little bit more. Scan complete. <laughs> oh, it is bad. You almost got them. <laughs> we'll take it from here. Honestly, I think Ahsoka and Sabine can go home. Those two are gonna kill each other before they accomplish anything. Right? I hope you know what you're doing! Okay, this is fun. She's got a little hood for her tent. Yeah, it's like <laughs> shaped perfectly. I love that. Oh my god, so many cosplayers just went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she's using the force to like have some form of gravity on the ship. Oh yeah, okay. It's like when um, Darth Vader's on top of the ship flying down and he uses the force to make his cape. <laughs> <laughs> Sabine, did you fix the ship yet? <laughs> <laughs> this is very fun. This is great. It's so silly in the best way. Oh! That was slick. Damn. Got any more? Buckle up. Oh, I like her suit a lot. It's slick. Way to give us something I've never seen in Star Wars before. Yeah, right? 
May, maybe in the animated... Maybe in I was going to say, at, point, at least live remember. action. Yeah, yeah. It, it's at least new to live action. And it looked great. Mm -hmm. <gasps> hey! Uh, I've seen that episode. Wow, they look so good. Mm -hmm. God, I love the way they visualize this scene. This yeah. is amazing. Whoa! And complete. Oh, took my battery back up a while to cycle, I suppose. What did I miss? Not much. We almost died multiple times. Ah, yes. Standard operating procedure. <laughs> Pretty much. This show really, they've like, they've recaptured some of the Star Wars dialogue. And part of that is that it is clunky sometimes. Uh -huh. But the best Star Wars dialogue always is. Like, that's such a George thing. And yeah. I feel like you, I, this feels more like George. And I know Dave Filoni are obviously studying under him more than any other person. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's like a clunky charm to this that feels like Star Wars. Yeah, I hear you. You could search that forever, you'd never find them. It's pretty big. Are you all right? Haven't seen those creatures since the day Ezra disappeared. Yeah. A craft with these power levels and configuration would be capable of a hyperspace jump of astonishing speed and distance. Hmm. Which used to follow the migration paths of star whales named Purgle. Like the ones we just saw. Really? When? <laughs> well done. Interesting. They like follow the migration patterns. Because the purgles can hyperspace. Yeah. Space, right? God, he looks so good. Rad. Okay. Rad. All right. That's fun. Do, 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 no, the credits, credits are just so long. Okay. Yeah, because on Disney Plus they have like all of the like localizations. Right, that makes sense. Wow. That's some cool shit. Y'all. The purgles look great. The purgles look great. Yeah. Ahsoka fighting in space looked great. Yeah, it was like silly, but in a way that just felt very Star Wars. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, you know? 100%. No, it, it's definitely silly, but in a way that, like, I can fully buy into based on, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> at this point, it would be very silly for me to be like, how did she do that? Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. if I haven't seen them do stuff, you know. Um, it's also interesting that, like, um, I'm sure the books probably have already done something similar. But oh, at especially least... the extended universe where literally the force can yeah. literally do anything. No, I just, I no, sorry, I just mean, um, 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 I mean to say that um, I haven't seen in live action the like kind of like underpowered Jedi trope. Right? Mm, like, you've mm -hmm. got a lot of, like, um, dark horse underdog um, trope in, like, a lot of uh, fantasy stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I've never seen that put to screen in Star Wars in a way. Everyone is either extremely capable. Or literally the chosen one. Or the chosen one. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's really fun to have um, someone like Sabine who is, who that, like, spark is barely there. Um, but it's still present and her like i think because of that her connection with the force and stuff is going to be so different and unique mm -hmm. and i hope that they do something really creative with that i'm excited for that it feels like they are like i yeah. really like you know I, I think that there's like i said i think that there is some clunkiness to some of the dialogue in this mm -hmm. and i think that like if i was gonna if there was anything about it i, I think that uh, some of the stuff on the table was a little bit you know, dialogue-wise, not my favorite. Mm -hmm. But I think that the larger story they're playing with and, and then the narrative of the episode and what it's about and what the show's been about so far, um, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying on the whole. Yeah. I, you know, 
Uh, I, I think that the, the visuals have been really fantastic. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that combat-wise, the space combat really took a step up from some of the land combat from the first episodes, which was already like enjoyable and great. Mm -hmm. But like this was like creative visually in a way that I think is sometimes missing from some of the Star Wars on Disney Plus. Right. Um, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. There, there's some I stuff in Obi Wan that I think did really good job being very creative, and I think like this is the most creative since some of the Obi Wan stuff that I did like. Mm -hmm. um, because there was also stuff in Obi-Wan I didn't. Yeah, there, there, there was some choreography in Obi-Wan that I didn't. But at the same time, like, the, the Reva vader fight in Obi-Wan, where he does, he, he just literally wafts her, literally kind of just wafts her lightsaber away. That choreography to me was so creative, and that sequence between the two of them in Episode 5 was so fun, mm -hmm. right? And so I think that, like, there has, there's been some really high highs in Star Wars on Disney+, Plus, but I also think that there has been some flat shooting yep. of um, particularly action sequences. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff in Book of Boba Fett just visually was a little bit sluggish. And Mando. Uh, and, yeah, Mandalorian has like, had some stuff, too. Moments, yeah. Um, but, but Mando's also had some really high highs. And yep, so totally. This show so far has the median, I think, for the action in this show has been higher than the median of other shows. It's and this, the highs of this episode match the highs of other shows for me. Yeah. And I, so that, that that's a strength thus far, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that the one thing they could do is, like you said, sometimes there are a few too many cuts. Yeah, mm -hmm, um, absolutely. Like, if that was, if there were just a few less of those, I think it would be, like, really fucking incredible. But even that, in this episode, I felt like there was less. Yeah, I am Granted, I'm there was a lot of sword combat, which is yeah. where that choppy, cutty style seems to be more prevalent. Absolutely. Um... But, but no, I, I, I think, like, I'm really happy with the direction the show's going. I, bringing in Kaz's dad, I think, is such an interesting way to tie in a show that I think a lot of people wrote off that I really enjoyed. I, I liked Resistance a lot. Uh, I, I was one of the, the stands of that show. I'm a lover of Opipit. Uh, Opipit's literally one of my favorite Star Wars characters. I don't know why I have this weird, strangely strong affection for that little furry, feathery yellow dude. I don't even know. Um, I can't wait for his race to make it into live action. Mm -hmm. um, and so just to have Kaz's dad here is, that, that's a fun callback in a way that I think wasn't just a, a cameo, but like was actually really integral here to show that it, it plays into what he was set up as in Resistance. Yeah. As sort of this stern father, uh, stern senator character. But it also um, brought in a cameo in a way that fleshed out and, and world built uh, the situation that Mamata is dealing with in the New Republic. Yeah. I will try to cannibalize some wiring from the secondary motivator and see if I can rewire the transmitter. Good use of the word cannibalize. <laughs> He'd be stranded out there. Maybe this time for good. Better that than allowing Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. <laughs> ah! They said the thing. They did say the thing. <laughs> they said the thing. That was a book. Right. I haven't even read it, but I, I know what the thing is. Mm-hmm. We're about to get some well, droid be droid. Is yeah, Hugh Yang about to fight? I would love that. That would be so sick. Yeah, they found them real fast. Best get underway soon. Is that a note of fear in your voice? Experience. <laughs> okay. He's the best part of the show so far. I know, right? I fucking dig him. Osoka really was just staring out into those woods. Yeah. Saw nothing. The force let her down today. Yeah. Don't worry about me. I'm not. I am. Seriously. And one more. There. Finally some progress. I love that someone programmed him as a droid to put his hands on his hips. I know, right? Because we do it to, like, open our backs. Like, there's a comfort thing about it. I don't know that there's any benefit to him. Jesus! Let's go, Hu Yang! This is what I wanted. Droid fight. It's Rock'em Suck'em Robots! Ho ho ho! I got extra arms, bitch! Let's go! That's useful. Ho 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 ho! That daft droid made it worse. He wouldn't. 
Yeah, so it's like, nah. I need a shield. Oh, there's a human. The Jedi way. That'll work. Well, that will set me back a bit. <laughs> Stay together. You always did better that way. In my opinion. Mm. Well, when you're a general, you can disobey orders too. Until then, buckle up. She's taking her kid? Yeah. To go fight... Star Wars. It's good to see the ghost fly. That's pretty cool. Please tell me Zeb is in one of those X-Wings. Wow, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining the party, Carson. Wouldn't miss it, General. You know, you're risking an awful lot by doing this. What's up, Paul? Love it. On your signal, Phoenix leader. Let's go! Wow, the lighting is choices here are really smart. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Dude, you can use the force. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Going somewhere? That was such a cute little hop. She's very like cute evil and I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Remember when Hugh Yang said, stay together, like four minutes ago? No, it definitely didn't happen. What's your favorite reverse grip? All right, Spider-Man, calm down. What are they doing? Well, she's obviously leading her away so she can stab her again, like... Oh, for sure. Sabine's already been fucked by her once. I just know, don't know like, why Sabine thought this was a good idea. I don't know. Just let her run. Whoa! That was a fun shot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just fun, you know what I mean? Oh, we have a video game level. All right, there's a counter now. There's Anakin. I really love that Merrick and her blades are different colors. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Because at first I was like, oh, the red blades are just whatever in this series. This is no, what they're going to no. look like. But they're the fact different. that they're distinctly different is very interesting. Yeah. If he flies away, I'm going to lose my shit. I want helicopter saber so bad. That just mirrored Tales of the Jedi so well. The fuck? I've got this. Did she just murder Sandman? Regret this decision. I guess they were friends. That might have been her boyfriend. Hmm. Where else is she going to meet kink. people? You know what I mean? Yeah, it must be hard life on Tinder when you're a, almost Sith, kind of. When all the all the distances are millions of kilometers. Like, there's no one nearby. True. It's a bad sign. Mm -hmm. He's so fucking dramatic. I hope Anakin my hood up spoke just... highly of you. <laughs> Everyone in the Order knew Anakin Skywalker. Few would live to see what he became. Surely that must leave a mark. <laughs> Is that why you walked away? Abandoned him? How inevitable. This is some good shit. 
I get why people were excited about this episode. <laughs> Interesting. That was sick. Mm-hmm. Come I on, Hera. I love that they have distinctly different fighting styles. Mm-hmm. And that they spent some time filling each other out. It felt very George Lucas. <laughs> the no look aerial over the lightsaber is a sick move. Come on, Sabine. Sabine just needed a couple days with Ahsoka, a reminder of, you know, her power. Mm-hmm. A little bit of tea time. Okay, maybe not. Maybe. She held it for a while. You have no power. <laughs> nice, nice. Interesting. Get them back. Sweet. Oh, shit. <gasps> Oh, shit. She would have done it. Stay back. But you're not like her, though, are you? More than you know. <laughs> I know you feel that Ezra Bridger is the only family you have left. Fuck! Oh, this is so bad. Your family died on Mandalore because your master didn't trust you. Oh, my God. Gave her my word, and unlike her former master, I shall keep mine. Hmm. Oh, oh. Ahsoka's fine. We saw her fall from space like 20 times in the Oh, Clone yeah. Wars. I'm literally <laughs> not worried at all. <laughs> like, you can't throw a cliff at a Jedi and expect me to be scared for them. Return at once. Understood. So cool. Like, even the way he did that was so cool. Yeah. Shot. There's some visuals in the show that really are quite striking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, it looks great. Bobcat spoils in attack position. <laughs> I love they gave that to Paul. I love the way Balin and um, Shanti, I love the way Shin. they're Shinti, their outfits mirror each other. Mm -hmm. Ignore them. Engage the hyperdrive. <laughs> Is hair about to get holdoed? I will love this so much if it just doesn't work. <laughs> if it's like, ah, fuck. Could you imagine? Calculations were wrong. That's a tremendous surge in power. It's the hyperdrive. They're gonna jump. Whoa! <laughs> fuck! That was crazy! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> She's like, I gotta stop ending up here. Wow!
<laughs> Let's Wait, go. Okay. Huh. So, what the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. I don't know who this show's for. I mean, it's for me clearly. Um. What I, what what piece of Star Wars am I missing? A lot this... of rebels. Oh, they go to this pathway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was the culmination. So this is oh, it's so sad that this is how you're learning about it. I really wish you'd finish Rebels before we started this. This is the world between worlds. Okay. Um, it is not time travel. Okay. Specifically, but all of time and space exist simultaneously here. And so you can interact with something, with somebody in another point in space and time here. Okay, well, that just sounds like really overpowered. Yes, but also it's complicated. How, so how'd she get there? That's a really, that, see that, really good question. Did she get there before? She has been, yes. Mm -hmm. Like by accident? No, you'll see it soon in Rebels. But I don't want to spoil it because it's a really good moment. Yeah, I mean, this episode is definitely not for me. <laughs> really? You didn't like it at all? No, it's like, fine. Like, there's, like, cool shit about it. But, like, the reason I was, like, I need to ask you at the end what happened to Ezra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is there a map that exists of where they went in a different galaxy? Was were, Did they plan to jump to a different galaxy? No. And someone left behind a map to no. be found? Why is there a map? It's a really good question. Star. Uh, part of it is that I think Star Wars is a little bit overly obsessed with star maps right now in okay. a way that I don't think is the best. Um, okay. Like, if this had come out pre-Force Awakens, I would have been like, okay, cool, like star maps. But since Force Awakens, I feel like we've been doing star maps a lot. And, like, devices and to point to a place that we can go to. Okay, so there is no reason that we have right now that this map should exist. Um, Cause like, no, we've, we've Thrawn not been told where this map comes from. Thrawn wasn't planning to jump to another galaxy. Very much not. Okay, very then yes, not. I am no. very confused. Yeah, it is, it, it is the third time Star Wars has done this recently. Um, the, the map to uh, Luke Skywalker in Force Awakens. Yeah. Uh, the um, dagger yeah. to the Death Star in, in Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker yeah. And now this. And there might be more. Those are just the three most prominent examples in my brain. Uh, and... Do you get, like, a star map later in Survivor <laughs> to get to that weird planet, ta ta I mean, Weirdly, yeah. Okay, so lots weirdly, of star maps. Yeah. yeah. That one makes the most sense, though. Sure, Tantalor sure. and the Death Star Dagger make the most sense. The Death Star Dagger? The Death Star Dagger does make sense. It's not that complicated, right? You... You saying it makes sense to you that someone went and made a dagger of the map of the destruction of the thing to hide the thing at? Yes. That makes more sense to me than the map to Luke Skywalker, but which is in two pieces. It's in water and it moves. So how is it in the exact same you would have spot to that it oh, was? Oh, you are hoping that someone uses that dagger before it moves too much. Oh, 100%. I agree with that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's get into just Ahsoka, though, because we could talk yeah. about those maps for forever. Yeah. The Taylor, the Taylor <laughs> map, a thousand percent makes sense. Sure, yeah. The, the, the way Jedi Survivor does its map, because it is, we are looking at an ancient map while also experiencing memories of ancient things. Mm -hmm. Like, the, 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 that one literally is like, and this is the explanation for why this map is here, is yeah. like a plot point yeah, of that Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. No, that's been like really Who cool. made this map doesn't make any sense. If it's an ancient map, but also Ezra and uh, Thrawn only went there, unless, unless, <sighs> unless. Unless Ahsoka makes Ahsoka this map Ahsoka makes the map and sends it Anakin. back through the world between worlds. Wow. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, no, the map's not great. Or at least the explanation for the map thus far, I don't think is very strong. Yeah. This episode, though, I think has a lot of thematic strengths that are really great. Uh, I think the St Sabine stuff in this episode was fantastic. Um, I think that Star Wars needs to stop teasing shit with characters and then doing nothing with them. Because Merrick is like the most boring nothing of a character in this well, here's and the they thing. gave him the coolest outfit possible they made merrick the yeah, coolest but they motherfucker make him into a fucking chump you know they, like... they did though he ultimately did nothing except get beat up by ahsoka twice yeah okay but it's ahsoka like i i don't know i have no problems with that 
Yeah, I know. I, and maybe I it's just the fandom's him... fault for, like, wanting him to be somebody. Yeah, but... like, I didn't need him to be anybody. But, like, why did he turn to fucking, like, I, but the problem why is that the way that he dust? died made him, gave me more questions. Yeah. Why is he a smoke monster? Is, is such a weird thing to introduce to a character that I don't think that this show has time to go back to. No. Like, I don't think we're going to get a flashback where they're like, Merrick was actually this race of... And a, a book will fill it in. I know that a comic or a book, someone's going to fill it in, right? Yes. Um, but but it was very weird that this character, who ultimately didn't matter, had such a, like, huge thing happen upon dying that doesn't yeah. mean anything? Yeah, I don't know. That one was... I Like, like I said, I didn't need him to, like, be anything, but I think him being a... Freaking smoke monster was a little out of nowhere. It just looked like Spider Man killed Sandman, and I was like, okay, but why? Maybe he is a being that is com- com- comprised of smoke, and that's why he has a full like outfit on because it keeps him in. But it wasn't even that. He gets stabbed through, and there's a hole, and then there's like a timer, and at five seconds, then he exploded. Well, it wasn't I have a so... hole. He got slashed, but yeah. Oh, yeah, but the the suit has a hole in it from the slash, right? Yeah. Because you can't, the suit doesn't get cauterized. The, the whole thing with lightsabers is, yes, like skin can cauterize, but a suit wouldn't, right? No. So there's a giant hole in a suit. So if he was just smoke, that would co- start coming out immediately. But yeah. he like exploded? I have so many fucking questions. Like, I, Alex Damon, <laughs> hi. Uh, congrats on winning Dragon Con 2023 Star Wars test. Again. Again. Uh, three Peter, you're pretty talented. Uh, you know a lot of things. Um, What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, I get that. No, no, no. The Sabine stuff in this episode I thought was really good. I thought the the emotional weight of Balin's skull using the force connection to sense her feelings, that felt very dark side. Yeah. And, and leaned into what I think was so interesting about the Emperor in the original trilogy um, and, and the way that he manipulates Luke. I, I thought there was a lot of like, um, without being a direct one-to-one, there was a lot of similarities with the throne room scene there i love that he was using like the heavy style from jedi survivor yeah, mm-hmm. uh, like like very clearly he fought and moved differently i thought that was kind of rad i i still think that the fighting is over edited yeah um but i thought this episode had better choreography and i thought i liked the well, choreography a lot more in this episode that, and that's what honestly what made the cuts stand out in a worse way because mm-hmm. i i was really interested in the choreography and what was going on and they made it harder on themselves for for the audience sorry they made it harder for the audience to kind of actually get a grasp on what was going on in the fight i think part of the i think part of the issue i have with the way the action is shot is that i like the action itself but the camera is very still and it's cutting from a like i think that one way to help with what they're trying to impress upon the audience with the motion of this would to be to have the camera in motion a little bit more with the choreo Maybe, yeah. and we're cutting from like a locked off shot to a locked off shot to a locked off shot and i i think that it would be a, i just think it would feel a little bit more alive if the camera was in motion and I, a little more frantic like you you were fighting right like yeah. that like that movement it feels oh no i don't want shaky cam I no, not be... not shaky cam but that like that like aliveness in the camera yeah, yeah. really makes the fight feel feel more alive and more like uh, emotional whereas yeah. yeah when it's like very still it feels much more cold and detached and this fight in particular i think other fights maybe Which that one? wouldn't matter so much but the the one with ahsoka where she's like and balin or with merrick well with balin mm-hmm. especially like that one is emotionally driven especially at the end when mm-hmm. she sees that sabine is not there yeah. Um, but like you didn't have that in the motion of the of the perspective of the camera. Yeah. Having said that, I actually thought the scene between Ahsoka and Balin right. was some of the best stuff of the show so far, right? Yes. And I, I I think that he just brings it. I think that Ray Stevenson is truly. It's. I mean, it is so hard to divorce that from the fact that he has since passed away since I know. performing this. I know. And it's. But at the same time, I think that he has delivered such an incredibly strong performance. He left. He left behind something really special, and like that's yeah. to be commended for sure. Yeah, and I, I, I think that it's, it is striking what he did in the show, yeah. and it, I think that regardless of his passing, I think that I don't think that that's influencing how I'm viewing it. Mm-mm. I really do think that he is just. Especially now in this episode, having brought this other side, this manipulation of Balin, yeah. this this very um, you know the 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 honeyed words version of this character, a- and leading up to Shin um choking uh, Sabine, Sabine. And, and him being like, "Stop, my word has meat." Like you know, it's interesting. You know, he says 
faith is something that he gave up long ago. Yeah. But he still has this, like, belief in the Force, obviously. And also uh, an adherence to a code. Yeah. A lot of characters, when you, when you do the, like, ah, I don't have faith, they become chaotic. And yeah. it is interesting for him to stay so lawful, to use D&D terms, um, within his breaking free of his belief system. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's that's a really fascinating way to play a character. And I think that there's a lot there's a lot of really cool stuff in him. Mm-hmm. And in Shin, I, I'm really excited to get to know her better because I think that there's an interesting dark light with her outfit and Balin's outfit. And I wonder that if... so good. <laughs> I wonder if Sabine can pull her towards the light. That would be interesting. They're both kind of rebellious in, in different ways, but in a somewhat a similar way. And I wonder yeah. if there there is a connection between the two of them that could build by spending some time together and, and kind of pulling... You know, I'm a little bit... see something of the other in... It's something similar within yeah. each other. I, I do worry that Sabine will get pulled a little bit towards the dark. I think that she has the, like, Mandalorian-ness that she... There, she she has gave a, him the minute? Well, but she also has an anger in her, even yeah. going back to Rebels. Um, even going back to, like, the first episode of this show. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm just going to speed away down this highway and uh, put the people around me in danger for a joke. And I was like... <laughs> Which is weird because she is like thirty five. At this point, yeah. If if look and and here's the thing: if it was Rebels season one, right? Yeah, I'd yeah. Be like, oh, she's a fucking shit disturber. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and so having only seen almost all of season two of Rebels, like I've seen like half. You know, like the character that we saw in episode one here just kind of feels like. Unless she makes no progress in the final two seasons, it feels like a weird step back. But she's probably not thirty five, but she's like thirty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's not that young. She's, like, your age. Wow. What? We are we not that far in age. Ages. She's probably closer to your age. Uh, we're, like, we're, yeah, yeah. Somewhere she's in between like us. probably, 29. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's probably your age. Way to make me seem so much older than you. No, 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 no. I didn't we're, mean that. I mean, it, I mean it in, like, a way that, like, how do you relate to Sabine doing these things, like, as a person who's, well, like, to, the, her age? We have such like, a different... I don't blame her for that. Like, she's lost so much and her life has been so hard. Like, she was at war at, in... She was a soldier in a war in her teenage years, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. Like, I, I understand where she's coming from. I, and I think that this episode really nailed how she's feeling. Because when she hands over the map, I totally bought into it. I was like, yeah, of course she would do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this guy maybe just killed Ahsoka. But Ahsoka and Sabine, like... The, the, one of the tough things about their relationship is that we know so much as the audience about her relationship with Ezra... But we don't really know that much about her relationship with Ahsoka, mm. right? Like they you they interact in Rebels in some episodes, but they don't have the sort of kinship that Ezra and Ahsoka have, um, and certainly not the sort of relationship that Ahsoka would have with um, some of these other characters. So all of all, but but we've seen Ahsoka and Ezra have this connection because of the Force and because of um, you know Maul and and what all of these characters went through together, and of course. The world between worlds. But the relationship between Sabine and Ahsoka happened off screen. And mm-hmm. so it's so interesting that so much of this show is about this tension between these two characters who have this history that we don't know. Yeah. But who are characters whose history we know so intimately. And and there's a tension between those two ideas that I think is playing out in, in a way that I think is a, a detriment to the scenes between the two of them. Oh, for sure. And as someone who hasn't seen all of Rebels, I honestly think that that's kind of made worse. Mm -hmm. Because I don't really understand most people's relationship, like, where they are in this show, especially to Thrawn. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I... Genuinely, I'm like, yeah, he's the bad guy, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, it's, it, it is unfortunate. You know, like, Ahsoka's like, it, the, the stakes are so high, and I'm like, I believe you, but I have no reference for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's tough because, you know, it all comes down to whales. Um which I as soon as the, as soon as I saw the whales hyper so I, I've seen whales like jump to hyperspace, right? That's such an insane I know. sentence. I've seen whales jump to hyperspace. <laughs> and then as soon as they said that like the that Ezra and um Thrawn were like stuck in a different galaxy. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, like Ezra probably like tied Thrawn to like the whale tail and they just like rode it out to a different galaxy. Like, yes. That, like, that, that's exactly what I'm picturing. Yes. Oh, sick. Sorry to spoil it for you, but yeah, you nailed it. I, I, exactly. It re- was it, is it the tail? No, not exactly, but kind of. Okay, sure. 
but like, but like also kind of. Okay, I, I, like it's more complicated than that. There's a ship that's grabbed by a whale. Yeah, but it, yeah. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, as soon as I was like, we have hyperspace jumping whales that clearly don't have the same restrictions that like people mm-hmm. do in their ships. They're called purgles. Thank you very much. Sorry, the purgles. Um, and then well, actually, they had a different name before purgles, which he said, and I don't remember. It's like the scientific name. Oh. Now yeah. I'm like, I'm kind of curious. Alex would know. Um, but uh, yeah, as soon as it was like. It's, hyperspace jumping purgles and we like have mm-hmm. them in a different galaxy that like we can't get to yet except but that the purgles are from yeah guys what can i say big brain it really i wish that we could go back in time so you could experience what it was like to be a rebels fan online when all of rebels fans were trying to figure out how we felt about the climax of the show being the whales it was a little bit like the Eagles from Lord of the Rings. It felt a little bit like we just called the Eagles to save the day. Ah, okay. Um, Interesting. But in a way that left us all in the lurch because we we're like, well, wait, but are they dead? Are they alive? Can they survive? Dead or alive. And now we know they're alive because we've seen Thrawn. Like, we know Thrawn's going to be in this. Um, That's true. Probably He's next in, episode. Yeah, yeah. But also Ahsoka's now in the World Between Worlds. So is like she going to like World Between Worlds walk just to gonna, the next yeah, galaxy she's over? she's going to like d- Dimension Door over to... And also like we haven't even talked about it. Anakin's back. Look, yeah? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna say something maybe controversial. Maybe not though. This might be a totally normal take. I preferred Obi-Wan Kenobi not digitally de-aging him to that. I just think it looked better to just have him look more like himself than the de-aging. Well, and also like... They literally just did Obi-Wan, where Hayden Christensen just looked like his age with his younger haircut. I don't know why they felt the need to de-age him in this, but not in Obi-Wan. Maybe it's because he's in more of the rest of the show, and so it's, like, necessary. I don't know. Look, the de-aging looks fine. I just, because we just did uh, Obi-Wan, I was very confused as to why the fuck... I agree. I don't think it looks bad, no, no, it doesn't look bad. Like, honestly, like, looks pretty good. Um, but, his hair seems fluffier, I'm not going to lie. But, uh, like, like that's honestly, like a... Uh, honestly, it, it looks good. No, no, it It, it looks, does look good. I think it might... You know what I think it might actually be is the blue of the lighting. That yeah. looks a little bit weird. They're, like, in space. I, I, I don't mind how it looks at all. I just think it's super he's a weird. Handsome man. I know, right? He's really good looking. I think it's super weird mm-hmm. that he's de-aged here and not an Obi-Wan. It's just a little bit it's noticeable when he moves. Honestly, when it's frozen, when it's, we have yeah. it screenshotted, when, when it's blinks, better. When he blinks, that was yeah. when I noticed it. Yeah, yeah I, I get why they're showing episode five in theaters for people. Um, I wish the strike was over because we would go. Uh, I wish the strike was over so that if you were watching this on YouTube, you could have seen this when it was going up and not months later. Yeah. Uh, probably You're probably watching this in 2024 because it does not wow. look like the strike will end this year. So that's crazy. This year? Yeah. Yeah. People are speculating it's it's probably going to go through the holidays. Don't know yet. We don't know. You know, because if you're watching on YouTube, if you're on Patreon, you're like us. You're in the lurch. Uh, but uh, if you're on YouTube, you don't know. Uh, and Or you know. Fuck, I'm messing this up. Um, I'm I'm so curious what Ahsoka is going to teach uh, or what Anakin is going to teach Ahsoka. And I really hope that it is that this wasn't your fault and you can let go and maybe be a little happier. Yeah. Because she's so, she's so, she's so dry. And yeah. I just, my, my Ahsoka... She's My Soka wasn't this dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm and and like I I understand why she's here, and I think that there's like you can tell the story to get her back to that. Yeah. But I hope that by the end of the show, she just because her scenes with Sabine are a little bit rough right now. I think they're not my favorite part of the show, and I wish they were because they're the central relationship. Well, because I don't really feel a strong connection to either of them, because like Ahsoka mm-hmm. kind of right now feels like she doesn't have much of a personality at all and mm-hmm. and that's uh, you say she's like dry and everything like that and like yes but also she just feels like not like so disconnected and so mm-hmm. i can't connect to her and sabine can't connect to her and i i understand like a narrative of trying to work through that but i think that having your audience wanting to connect to that person m- means that it really tough and kind of rocky at times i think what makes it hard right now is that sabine is also in that same place and so the two main characters of the show are both sort of just like like i'm like i'm here for hu yang yeah you know like hu yang is great and even like hera balin like the the other characters who 
are a little bit more driven by their goals and a little bit more secure in their personal lives. I, I, I just wish one of them, I wish they weren't in the same place. It I kind of feels Kara like Sabine didn't take her child to assault the. She's used to it. She's sick. like, I, I'm just used to fighting wars with children in the cockpit with me. So. Yeah. But she did it with Ezra and Sabine for years. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. I just I, I do think there's an element of both of them are a little bit disconnected, and so their scenes together sometimes literally just feel like Ahsoka just saying Jedi platitudes. Yes. And Sabine being like, I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And I'm. I'm, I was almost like, oh, separating them is good. I think this show needs to bring them back together when one or both of them has tr healed has one of bit. their many traumas. Yeah. So that they can actually stop talking past each other yes. and talk to each other. Yes. And here's the thing. I think the disconnectedness in the scope of the season will work. If where it lands is the, like, because if we get to the point where Ahsoka has a huge breakdown and like weeps in Anakin's arms and she finds herself again. Yeah. All of that disconnectedness and all of that I have to be the perfect Jedi yeah. that she has been doing, if she breaks through that, all of it will be worth it for me because it will be in service of this big emotional moment. Yeah. I like, can't believe Hayden Christensen. I, I keep like looking at his pause face on like screen and I'm like, yeah. he's here. Yeah. And he looks so good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm hopeful that like when I watch this as a season, I really feel it come together in the end. Yeah. And... I see the direction they're going, and this episode was so good. Like, I loved it on almost every level. Some cutting, some of the editing, I don't love. I love the lighting, though. The lighting of this show is exemplary. The way they're using the lightsaber lighting, um, the way they're the way they're lighting space, I just think is a real step like, up from some past. Sometimes space in Star Wars feels very flat, like there's light from everywhere. Yeah. And there's directional lighting in space from the outside of their ships it, in really smart ways. It feels very dimensional. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and the colors as well really stand out because even when we have like, for example, like the red trees, mm -hmm. they're more of like a deeper ruby, like maroon almost. Like they 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 don't pop. But they have color, and then so when you ignite the lightsabers, and they mm -hmm. are so vibrant, I think that the the lightsabers and and the map, mm -hmm. right, and that's kind of like that. That is kind of the story right now is lightsabers and map, and, yeah. and, and those being like the the actual like lights in the show is really cool. I do wonder if it is just a like a matter of Dave Filoni being a younger film like live action director. Right, he's been working in the animation space for so long, mm -hmm. and I do wonder if like it's it's just like a a comfort thing, right? Of like what you're good at, and, and him coming to live action later on in his life and not being a live action action guy younger, you know. Maybe, maybe, I, I think that yeah. there, I I I think that like it could be that maybe like there was a, a short film or like an indie film he should have made before he like directed Star Wars, you know. Um, yeah. But 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 it's tough because there's stuff that I think looks so good. It is it it really is a mixed bag. I, I think the show is a mixed bag in a way that when people say they don't like it, I get it. And when people and say if they you love it, watch Rebels. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it. I think that this show isn't a home run. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Yeah. I think there are some home run moments for sure. Yeah. And I think that there's a lot of the burden of baggage, for you in a way that there isn't for me because yeah. this is a continuation of a story I've been waiting a decade to hear the end of. And so I, I think that when people tell me they don't like Ahsoka, I'm on board with that. I, I immediately understand why. And when people say they love it, I immediately understand why. Yeah. And I think that this show is going to be a little bit more controversial than, say, a Mandalorian. Yeah, it's going to be more polarizing. Where sometimes people hate on that show for reasons that I think aren't don't make any sense yeah. or love it beyond reason in ways I don't make, think make sense. Yeah. Um, this show has, uh, this show, I, I get it. This show is like a little bit all over the place and it's really going to work for some people and it's really not for others. And I think that we're just as a Star Wars community going to have to be okay with that. Yeah, absolutely. But but that's how we were about the prequels and that's how we were about the sequels. And like, that's just all of Star Wars. Star Wars is that so is Star Wars. unnecessarily controversial. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> but I like this episode a lot. I was happy. Also, Hugh Yang fighting. We didn't talk about it. That was the best shit ever. I saw, as soon as pop, that other pop, like pop. appeared, I was like, "Oh, I'm fucking here for this." That was fun. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I yeah. want. I want that. I want that as a, I want a Hugh Yang video. That game. was like I actually think like the best edited fight scene, in terms of the choppiness. Okay, but uh -huh. it's basically animation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's what's weird about it to me is that like the animation moment. Yeah. No, was I know. handled really well by Dave Filoni, the animation guy. Anyway, I, I don't want to put too much on him because I think that the show is very impressive and and very good, and I'm enjoying it. 
Um, and I'm enjoying it more now that I see where it's going. But I am also comfortable with them jumping into the world between worlds because we've been here before. And for you, it's like, what the fuck is the end of this episode? Did, right. she, did she go to heaven? Yeah. Like, is she dead? Yeah, I'm literally like, oh, Soka's dead. She's going to come back as a force ghost. Like, uh, like obviously, that's Which not what happened. could ha- be rad. I mean, I, I don't I don't know. I'm literally left kind of like, what the actual fuck? Which I think is fair. Yeah. Like, I, I get it. It is Rebel Season 5. And I think that if anyone tells you otherwise, they're very wrong. Because you ha- there's so much Rebel stuff you have to have seen to understand what they're about to talk about next week. Yep, that'll be fun. If you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her this episode. The algorithm goddess is... Shin. Shin. I don't know. She's, she seems spicy. Shinward. <laughs> Our mod. Uh, no, Shin. If you want to follow us around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. As always, y'all. May the force be with you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.